Hi, I'm Kendall with the Rawls Group. The old African proverb, it takes a village, illustrates the essential nature of a team approach to succession planning. Succession planning is a complex endeavor. As such, it requires leveraging the expertise of a diversity of backgrounds. Collaboration and different expert opinions provides a 360 degree approach, ensuring the possible, probable, and potential issues impacting your long-term vision are addressed. To provide insight into common questions received from business owners, we are leveraging the village of our valued strategic relationships. As you listen to this episode, you'll be able to immediately apply the key takeaways and you'll come back for more. Now we're going to focus on what kinds of things should owners do right now operationally to protect their business? People need to be able to have operators um, or or key people come in for operators who aren't able to operate the business or be on, on hand all the time. Uh, they need to have key employees in place in, also, in all different parts of the businesses so that they maintain continuity. It's a very difficult time and, and many people are having difficulty with those issues. In the franchise or side of my business, clients are mostly concerned about whether or not franchisees can stay in business, whether or not they're going to continue to get royalties, whether they're going to be able to uh, continue with uh, the supply chain issues that they have. And so what, what's happening with a lot of our clients is they're unable to find the supplies they need, the products they need, deliveries are, are delayed, and so on. So getting all of that into shape, making sure that you have those things set up for the continuity of business is absolutely critical at this time. Recall that your business today is a mere snapshot. It's a one frame and a motion picture as to where your business is going. So what can you do today that can help improve the value of the future? Well, think about what kind of process or culture that you can start. You can record and you can formalize that will have, that will offer assistance, that will offer aid in continuing what you're doing today in the future. Think about also, are you the magic uh, elixir that makes your business work all the time? Are you the one? Are you that genius surrounded by a thousand acolytes? Well, if that's the case, that question, how do I, what do I do to my business? How do I prepare it to continue in the future? That's more challenging. How do you deal with that challenge? Well, you empower people below you to do many of the things you're doing today. Are they going to do it as well as you do? No, nah, no chance. Now, you've got so much history. You've got so much experience. You've done what most of us have done, and that is learn. You become successful based off the failures you've learned from. But that doesn't mean success has to be at your level. Success can be at 75 or 80 percent of your level. So help the people below you, empower the people below you to continue doing what they do. Never know, that might be, mean getting out of their way. Letting them learn what success is based on the failures they learn from. But it also might mean whatever you're doing, make sure that you start to record it as, the, as an example, the Rawls way or the Johnson way or the checkered flag way. Whatever the way that you do things, try to provide it. I guarantee if, if you record it, you'll perfect it. You cannot transfer what's in your left brain through your right brain down on the paper without refining it. You'll get better at it. And then when you share that with somebody, this is the way we do things, they're gonna look at it and say, holy smoke, we can, you know, we can do this better too. So they'll refine it. They'll be fine. But what you want to do one day is say, okay, this is it. This is the way we do it. Why do you do that? That prevents culture creep. So when you're gone, somebody doesn't say, no, nah, we're going to do it a different way. No, we've agreed on a process. We've agreed on a structure. And that's how you do today. That's how you work today to be able to continue what you're doing today tomorrow. Provide a track, provide guardrails, provide a pathway, document it and formalize it, formalize it. So if anybody wants to change it, 
it's not just a matter of, hey, I got a better idea. It's, hmm, I know we've been doing it this way for some time. I'd like to discuss with you a better way to do it. That's, that's a great discussion. But let's just don't do it a different way because it's Wednesday. Thank you to our strategic partners, The Village, for participating and sharing your perspectives. Do you have a burning question you want to discuss with an expert? Feel free to submit it via the Ask an Expert link featured on the page. Continue to listen to this series now or come back later for more. Each question featured may want you to learn something new.